The bunkers got a massive update in season four, and today we're gonna be going over everything you need to know about the bunkers, tactical boots, foresight, and specialist. I feel like a lot of people still don't know how to get into the bunkers, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that. There are three ways in order for you to get into a bunker right now. You have to complete three any of the contracts: a scavenger, a most wanted, or an intel. When you complete a most wanted, the key card actually comes in the loot crate. When you're completing the scavenger, it's in the last chest. And when you complete the intel, it kind of just flies out. Keep in mind when you complete these contracts. The key card is really hard to see because sometimes I complete the contract. I was like, hey, I didn't even get a key card, but it's actually really tiny. You can't really tell that you got it. So just keep in mind, you really have to look on the ground so you don't miss it. Once you pick up the bunker key, it's going to ping a bunker near your location and it's totally random. I think it goes by whichever contract is close to that bunker because I tried going to a completely different bunker that where it's not pinging on the minimap and it would not open. Open. So you have to bring that key card to where the bunker is pinging on the mini map. There are 12 bunkers right now and they're all completely different. I'm going to put a map of every single location of the bunker right on your screen so you can get an idea of where these bunkers might be if you want to play around them. Guys, they're actually worth looting there's so much loot especially if you play as a team there's so much loot to go around so how do we actually get foresight tactical boots and specialists so for right now specialists can only be bought from the buy station you cannot get like super lucky and find it in a chest or in the bunkers right now you can only get specialists from the buy station for thirty thousand dollars now let's talk about foresight and tactical boots Tactical boots can be found in bunkers, or if you get super lucky, you can actually find it in a chest around the map. But those are super rare because I played yesterday for like maybe a good five hours, and then I played the next day for another five hours, and I only found it once. So you have to get super lucky. If you actually find one, I would probably go buy a lottery ticket, to be honest with you, because that's actually super rare. So again, you can actually find the tack boots in the bunkers also. Now with foresight can only be found in one of the 12 bunkers. Unfortunately, when you loot these bunkers, you might not get foresight from the bunker. You can either get foresight or tactical boots from the bunkers. But if you get super lucky, you could get both. Again, if you get both foresight and tactical boots from the bunkers, Go buy a lottery ticket because that's super rare. Again, I played five hours the other day and I played another five hours the next day. And that only happened to me once. When you find these unlimited tack boots, bro, the game feels so good. Just being able to just tack sprint unlimited feels amazing. I hope they can add this into just the base movement speed instead of us having to go find it because I feel like the game just... I feel like the game just needs it to be honest with you the map is ginormous and just being able to unlimited tactical sprint just feels amazing and that's everything you need to know about the bunkers in season four let me know down in the comments below if you guys are enjoying season four uh, i'm excited to see what's coming up in for season reloaded hopefully we can reload <laughs> but i've been hearing a lot of good things about season reloaded i think they're going to add some new pois because i think that's exactly what we need um, I really like what they're doing in this season. A lot of quality of lives, um, buy station locations, a lot of things they're doing really well. Um, I just feel like we just need that new POI to keep the game more fresh. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know if you guys need anything down in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me if you guys want to see me on Twitch when I stream uh, Warzone. Just hit the link down below and follow me on Twitch. That's it. Peace.